Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, I want to quickly apologize for our last video. Uh, I was trying out some new editing techniques. Uh, I'd love uh, to know if you guys prefer that or if you prefer the cuts. But uh, it unfortunately made the video a little shorter than I meant so I will try to accommodate for that. So. Anyways, straight back to uh, straight back to business. So last video we left off with this car in our garage. So today we are going to start getting working on it. So let's see what we've got here. So it looks like it needs an ABS module, a vented disc, and pads. It's gonna need some exhaust. Uh, driver struggling to find gears. It's probably mostly going to be gearbox parts, uh, general gearbox repair, and transmission. Yeah, so we're probably going to need a gearbox, a flywheel, a clutch pressure plate, a clutch plate, and a clutch release bearing. I'm willing to put put a bet on that. So let's find out. This will be one of the first times I think we get to work on one of the W engines, the V12, so this is pretty exciting. Yeah, you can already see the gearbox is bad. There's the front exhaust section, the exhaust manifold. We don't need to deal with the oil at all, so we don't need to pull any oil, no coolant or anything, so we're gonna start tearing her apart now. All right, and I think that's pretty much the only part we can get from uh, up top the manifold so we'll get going underneath now uh, this pad looks good so it's not a rear brake problem jump on over here ah you can see right here a little bit of rust so this is gonna be one of the brake pads we need to replace All right, let's get at this gearbox. There would be so many more bolts on a transmission like this, on any of them really. Oh, the clutch release bearing was good, but it looks like everything else was toast. And there we have it. So we just need to find the vented disc and the other brake pad. Hopefully they're both on this tire, which it looks like they are. Can our uh, brake lathe do red parts, I wonder? Kind of like the battery. Because we might not have to buy a ventilated disc then. But we do have spares anyway, so we don't have to buy one regardless. So no, it does not, so only orange, unfortunately, but that's okay. Gonna add our parts to our shopping list and we'll get going on this. So. All right, I must say that those were some expensive parts. We got, we've spent over, I actually still need the ABS module right there, another $700 part. We spent, we spent a fair bit of money getting this car back up and going. So, this should be a pretty nice little payday. Yes. The rear tires are wider. <laughs> Looks like I could have actually gotten away without buying this one as well. I noticed an orange one sitting in our uh, inventory. It's kind of annoying when it gets so close. All right. 
right, and our car is back together underneath. We gotta put the exhaust manifold back on and we gotta find out where this ABS module is hanging out. These uh, supercars are a little bit trickier. They've got electronic components in a couple different spots. I do believe it should be under the front though. Yes, it looks like that's exactly where it is. All right, and that should be a job well done. You can see here, everything's been taken care of. And oh my goodness, we're getting $10,000 for this job. That's a pretty hefty bonus. You're getting, we're getting almost, we're getting over five grand, almost six in just bonuses alone. And then two grand just in that. Oh my goodness, what a good order. Oh, car, oh. Trying to send it out without a starter. I'm trying to I'm trying to scam the guy. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so distracted all the time. All right, there we go. We'll send her on out. Puts another ten thousand in our pockets. So I want to tackle up another. Okay. Ooh, all right. We just had an electric car pop up, I believe, and we know that these are pretty good paydays. So I'm gonna take both of these jobs because we might get some good pay out of this. And we'll take the electric. This is a electric, correct? It is, perfect. I don't know what's wrong with it. General, oh, looks like it's got a pretty big list of problems. And this one here is suspension, running gear, and brakes. So ABS pump and coolant. Looks like this thing needs some uh, some headlights, some windows. She's uh, looking a little beaten up, but not at the same time. All right, let's get started here. We're gonna try to get through these jobs pretty quickly and after that I think it's gonna be some more restoration time so let's see so there's knocking sound coming from suspension running gear sloppy steering and the brake system so shouldn't really have to go under the hood too much but we will need that pump And we'll lift her up and we'll take a look at the brakes and the running gear. So, looks like this caliper might be in bad shape. It's looking a little low. The minimum requirement though is 44%, so they're not too, too worried about much it would seem. I'm gonna pull the brakes off and just take a look. Yeah, it looks like there'll be a ventilated brake disc and a caliper on that side. That caliper might be done. This bushing looks done. That one looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. Oh, nope, oh, that's way too far. But that looks like something that's gonna have to be replaced as well. And that one looks good. How does this guy look in here? This one looks a little banged up as well. And the top of the shock cap looks done. It's gonna be to be close. Let's see here. Wonder if that axle knuckle is as well. It's not looking too healthy. Yeah, that knuckle is definitely done. I think we're good on that. 
Looks like this bottom arm is going to need to be dealt with. Oh, that wheel bearing there looks bad. Really all over the place with this car. And it looks like that caliper needs to be done as well. And the pad. They brought this car in in rough shape. Which is very disappointing. You see a car like this, you don't want to see it in a condition like this. Alright, another caliper. It's tough to say if that wheel bearing is going to be good or not. But it's pretty easy to check. Ah, looks like it might have passed. All right, let's go see if we found everything. So we got one bearing, the shock absorber cap. Yes, 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 yes. And there, perfect. Looks like we nailed everything. All right, we're gonna head over to the lathe and fix up another vented disc. We'll come over to our workbench and see if we can repair anything else for them. All right. Believe that's going to take care of a fair few of those parts. All right, so that was a little bit of uh, all over the place kind of thing. It's kind of hard to uh, figure out what I need when there's so much going on. So this should be the bad one. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's go put this girl together. Fixed up some extra parts for him for no real reason. All right, well that certainly took a little bit longer than I had intended it to. Parts are just so all over the place and kind of hard to keep track of. I'm just getting back from uh, from a bit of a long drive, so my head is a little fuzzy. So I apologize to everyone. All right, I guess we're going and we're draining all these guys. All right, that's those two done. Now we just need to find power steering and coolant, which are over here. Perfect. and there we have it that should be everything all done looking pretty good we're gonna pay we're only gonna get three thousand dollars so that felt like so much more work than three thousand dollars oh my goodness i guess they can't all be gravy can they all right let's move you on in get started on our second job here okay so this is a nice electric car so some suspension problems it does have engine problems brakes are easy for us to find out so for the engine oh you can see right there there's the bad module we'll run our uh, tester here and see what kind of info this can give us uh, right off the bat it looks like bad control cover ooh 
power electric controller. That looks bad too. That's not good. Looks like the air filter fan housing is bad. So there's one, two, three, four, there's five parts. I might not even need the tools. So many little parts inside this little box. All right, so that's all bad. Do we have a bad battery possibly? Cables all look good. Fan housing and everything looks good. I'm starting to think it might be a bad battery. Have to say oh yeah this battery right here that's definitely it oh and those batteries are worth a good payday this this car is gonna make us a little bit on the richer side for sure I think we'll pull off another 22,000 job <laughs> perfect bad battery that is everything there, so the sp suspension rattling isn't a big issue. It's got poor brake performance, so we know it's the ABS. Looks like we've got a bad caliper over here. Definitely a bad disc. Oh, and a pad! That's three parts all on one tire. Just double check. Brakes good over here. No, you need a pad over here. Bad shock. Oh, and looks like another brake disc. All right, looks like a bad sway link. Definitely a bad front shock. Anything else here that's standing out right off the top? Looks like that's about it. Uh, yep, yeah, looks like a front shock absorber cap. Goes on the front shock absorber. Uh, poor brake, we got the pads, the discs, the vent. Perfect, we are ready to rock almost. Got an ABS pump and the battery and like a bunch of those engine components. Oh, this is not going to be a cheap bill. I am so sorry, man. I apologize to our customer in advance. This is this is not going to be fun. Uh, we'll fill up the fluent washer. We'll fill everything up here while we're here. Mine as well. Let's separate our shock. We're going to go see if we can get another ventilated disc going. All right, we're going to put together a shopping list now. All right, so we have all our parts ready to go. All we need to do now is put it all back together and send them on their merry way. We're going to tag the two pads for sure. All right, we'll throw our new battery in. And the rest of it we have to tackle from the top. This is our last part up top. Now we just have to re-put this back on. And if we take a look, oh, we are missing a part. Oh no, I should have double checked this and I didn't. There is a general running gear part that we need to find. So it might be a bushing, it might be a wheel hub. Oh no. All right, so I'm at a loss here, so we're going to take her to the test track and see if something goes in our line car may drive in an odd way. 
We're gonna see if the testing track has any sort of, uh, oh man, and these things are crazy. So, we'll see if the testing track has anything to say. Well, that didn't do us any good at all. That's not good news. There's a part of... Oh, it's general engine control and repair. Oh, not running gear, so it's gonna be an engine problem. Oh, you know what? It's probably a fuse. I'm willing to bet it's a fuse. There's another battery. Yep, so there was two faulty batteries. I just missed one. That's just silly of me. Yep, it's right there. Knew it as soon as I looked at it. Two of these batteries getting replaced. That's a, that's an unhappy bill. There she is. Now we are all finished. Everything is good. We're looking at, really? We get 9,000 this time. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, and that puts us back up at $22,000. So I'm thinking it's time to bring our baby back into the shop and let's see if we can get some more work done on her. So the next thing I would like to tackle is tearing this engine out and getting the engine rebuilt. Oh, right, gearbox first. Oh, that's a lot of rusty bolts. I would like to clarify something about the last episode when uh, we used the welder to repair the frame of the car. You do not have to do that to fix the frame in this game. I do that because it just feels logical to me. You don't want the body panels and everything getting in the way. You just want to tackle the frame by itself. So that's why I did that. I just wanted to clear that clear that up with anyone who might be wondering. <laughs> I'm gonna finish pulling this engine apart and there's actually a little bit of a trick. If you pull the engine out with the crane, then it becomes an engine. You can put it on the stand. It, it might sound confusing, but when you don't pull the engine out, with the crane, you can pull the engine out just like this. You remove all the parts from it and you put it down and you click on it and you see you do this and you remove and you actually get the block itself versus if you pull it with the engine crane, it, it's an engine so it can't be repaired. So I can actually repair the engine block now that I've pulled it out because it is within the parameters. So we're gonna do that. All right, so we have all our parts repaired and it actually turns out we could have made a pretty good profit off of that electric car. If I had have just taken the batteries to this workbench, I was actually able to fully repair them for way less than $1,500. So I would have gotten a huge bonus. So I'm gonna show you guys what I was talking about. So I can go here and you can put your engine block back in. You can see she's all been repaired, nice and new. And I'll go here and pull out. 
So now that I've pulled it out, you can see see how it's an actual engine in this, not just a block. Like I can't take it to the workbench and repair it anymore. So you have to separate it like that. It's kind of a weird system. And then you have to install the engine. And this is the only way to get it on the stand. If you have it just the block, you have to create a new engine. So we've got the engine here. So we can put it on the stand here and we can throw on, we can turn it and we can start throwing on anything that we want to. So we do have a one star alternator, we'll throw that on. We do have a three star pump. We have a two star crankshaft, which is nice. Do not have a camshaft, so no luck there, unfortunately. I don't believe we have any pistons. Or anything like that so we're gonna take a quick run to the junkyard just see if we can pick up a camshaft or anything for this engine and I'll meet you guys back here at the garage unless I find something interesting and I'll let you guys know all right welcome back everyone uh, back from the junkyard we we didn't really score too too much I'm not even too sure if we needed it all I just found I found a hood a headlight. I found a two-star rotor. I don't know if we can fix that. Uh, left headlight. Don't know. The starter is actually pretty sweet. Picked up an air filter, another rod cap, and a door. So nothing too good out of there. Let's see if we can fix any of it. All right, we can fix that two-star rotor, distributor rotor. So we didn't get too much out of that, so I actually think I want to try one more time, and we'll see what happens. Or, you know what? Let's do our first barn find. I kind of think that the barn find is more likely to find a better car than the junkyard but the junkyard you have more parts to select from so let's see let's see what we can find in our first barn find all right looks like we found our first car in the barn it looks like it is a bmw it has the v8 dual overhead cam axk 400 foot pounds of torque and 309 horse. It's pretty sweet. They want 15 grand for that though. That's pretty, it's pretty intense. All right, and what do we have here? This is kind of looking like an old Toyota. So let's see what we can find on it. So it's a Sakura. Yeah, it looks like a Toyota. Comes with an inline four dual overhead cam, nothing too fancy. They want 16 grand for this car, but the body is in really good shape, you can see. So this could be an easy, quick flip kind of car, but it starts out so expensive. All right, and the last thing to explore in this garage is this little guy right here. I'm uh, not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. This almost looks like a Chevette Celine Flammeau 72. Comes with an inline four BMJ. Looks like the body once again is in really good shape and we're not too sure about everything else. They are asking 13 for it. So another kind of cool little project car. So. We didn't really find too much in this barn find either. Uh, we did find three good cars, fairly pricey. Not quite ready to spend that kind of money on a on a find yet because we're still building our restoration at home. If there was something cheap, then maybe we could pick up a second one just for fun. But uh, looking like our first barn find is a bust. We did find a couple of things. We did pick up this nice bumper for our car, so. All right, so we're back at the garage. Once again, uh, the last thing I would like to do today would be to just throw the body panels back on this car. Now, yes, it is not going to look very nice, but that was kind of part of the idea. We're not 
doing a full restore just yet. We're just getting it running. Maybe looking looking like something. Ah, that door is in seriously rough shape. We really need to get the ability to repair body parts. That would be nice. Look at how multicolored this thing is. This is hilarious. All right, so this is, oh, wait, one more part here. I'm not gonna put the windows in. I don't see a point in putting in dirty windows. No one wants to look through a dirty window, but as you can see, this is now what our car is starting to look like. So that's what it looks like with all of its parts back on. So it does have some nice ones. Let's take a quick peek here. We have available, we have three, I need six. We need one more level before we can start fixing body panels. So we'll leave it as this for now. And when we get our second level, we'll uh, fix up those body panels. Then at least she'll be multicolored, but at least she won't be rusty. So anyways, uh, in our next video, we will continue to try and get this engine back together. So that way we can see if we can fire this girl up. So in the meantime, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out.